Hi, welcome to Auntie's Parenting Tidbits. Life hats for the perfectly imperfect parent. Today, I would like to discuss how it is okay not to know questions that your kids ask you. So as parents, our kids will come up and ask us 50 million questions 50 million times a day. And as parents, we feel like we have to know the answers to those questions every single time they ask them. And sometimes we think it is okay that we give them an answer that is not correct. I don't think that this is correct. I think we should always give them the answer, the correct answer to their question, no matter how embarrassing it is, you know, or embarrassing that we think it is, usually it's not that embarrassing. No matter how old they are, we can, I don't want to say dumb it down. I don't really like that. We can tamp down our answer to their age and answer their question. But if you don't know the answer, it is okay as a parent to say simply, I don't know, and then make it a learning experience where you and your child look it up together. Um, it is a learning experience for the child so that they know that, you know, even when mommy or daddy doesn't know something, they still are able to learn something new and they don't mind researching. You teach them how to research, how to Google something, how to go on sites, what sites are the best sites to go look something up. You make it fun for them. You make it something that you guys do together. It's gotten to the point my kids love to stump me on something so that we can look it up together. Um, they even bring me books. They love to bring me books that I haven't read before. I don't mind saying, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Let's look it up together. And then we look it up and we find it out together. It is just like in life. It is okay that you don't know something and that you learn something new. It's okay that your kids know that you don't know something and that you have to learn something new. And it, it teaches them that it's okay to ask questions. So right now with the distance learning and having to teach your kids at home, I know especially for me with the math, they are learning how to do math that is a lot different than how I learn how to do math. So I have to tell my 11-year-old, I don't know how to do math how you do math. And it is tickling him that I have to tell him that a lot. I don't know how to do it that way. I can show you the way I know how to do it, but you have to show me the way you know how to do it. And it tickles him that I have to tell him I don't know a lot. So as a parent, it is really, it is okay to say I don't know. It is better to say I don't know than to make up an answer. I know as parents, especially when they're small, we like to make up some fantastical thing when they ask us a question. My favorite is when a kid asks, what's sex and we tell them it's the birds and the bees and we make something up and then they grow up and we all have stories as adults about something weird that our parents told us sex was and then we grew up to find out that it was nothing like that when it would have been just easier for them to tell us that you know it's a something a man and a woman does then they're in love that would have been a simple enough answer to give us when we were three or four and we were asking about it and then told us more about it as we got older as opposed to telling us, oh, it's just a birds and a bees or <laughs> what other silly thing that your parents have told you about it, not wanting to tell you the real thing or like telling your kids the moon is made out of cheese instead of just telling them the truth. It is a lot easier to tell your kids the truth when they ask you a question, even if the answer to that question is just a simple, I don't know, and then going to look it up. And it is, 
it is okay not to know the answer to something. It is okay to Google something in front of your child because you don't know the answer. Just like you would if you were talking to an adult and you didn't know the answer. So that is that is my big thing for parents is for them not. I don't believe in lying to your child. I don't believe in telling them things that are not the truth. I believe in answering all of their questions. I don't believe there is a such thing as a stupid question. Kids ask a lot of questions. They ask a lot of silly questions and every question they want an answer to. And because I said so, it's not an answer. Although every parent has said it, including me, it's not really an answer. And they deserve an answer to their question, even if that answer is, I don't know, let's look it up. And if you have a Google speaker or an Alexa speaker, ask Alexa. They love to hear Alexa say it. And they love to hear Google say it or have them say, you know, I don't know. Why don't you ask Alexa so she can tell us both? Or why don't you ask Google so she can tell us both? That's another good way to do it also if you don't know the answer. So again, make it a game, make it a learning experience for you both. And it will teach them that mom and dad don't know everything, but mom and dad like to learn and learning is not something that's ever gonna go away that I'm gonna be learning for the rest of my life. And that is not a bad thing because we all know that learning never goes away. Even when you're out of school, if you don't go to college, even if you get straight out of high school and get a job, you're going to be learning on that job because every job, there is a learning curve. There, You will have to learn how to do that job. There will be new things thrown at you on that job. You will always have to learn. There will always be things that you don't know that you will have to look up. And your kids need to know that, that as an adult, you will not know everything. So teach them that young, that mom and dad don't know everything, but they're okay with that. And when they don't know it, they look it up. So as a kid, if I don't know something, it's okay for me to say, I don't know. I don't have to know everything. And I think part of frustrations with kids, especially when they're doing schoolwork, is that when they don't know something, they're so afraid to say that they don't know it, they get afraid to raise their hand, they get frustrated, and then they just mark down anything and it makes their scores go down, it makes their grade go down on testing and on busy work when they could have just raised their hand and asked a question. And it's easier for them to ask a question if they've gotten it at home that mom and dad didn't know the answer. They looked it up, they had help, I can get help. It's not a bad thing to have help when you don't know. So that is my lecture. I will get off my soapbox. But it is okay for you as a parent not to know something. You can make it a learning experience for you and your child. And they have fun. They are ecstatic. Kids are ecstatic when parents don't know something and they get to teach you something. They are ecstatic if you guys can learn it together and it becomes almost a game for them. So make it a learning experience when you don't know. Say you don't know, make it a learning thing, learn it together with them. So please subscribe to my page, go to the website, it's in the description, and we'll be seeing you. Bye.